Okay, um, hey guys, I'm going to do another video. So, um, I wanted to talk about chakras. I, um, was ramp the other video that I did was more of a personal kind of video. It was more of a chit-chat kind of video, but I was doing, I've been doing a lot of shadow work and I've been doing a lot of chakra alignment and healing, especially those who are witches. I think it's very important that, you know you do that because that's the mistake that I did when I just wanted to rush into the magic when I just wanted to rush into the process and yes you have to surrender of course but it's like about like balance and duality it is like um you know looking at the temperance card you know and taking two things that are maybe opposite from each other and merging them into one that is the temperance card so i felt like magic also teaches you that too the spirit realm or just life in general sometimes so um i thought you know because i was just talking about growing your light and all of that and how you know when you grow your light um you know whether you're a healer or light worker or witch and you're doing the work for the kingdom of the most high if you are on that side um i know they're mk altering me with the finger right like but anyway um lilith so yeah oh yeah i have my my lilith necklace that's me i'm a sleeping giant <laughs> i'm uh on one of her versions, on one of her walking, talking versions out on this earth. So anyway, <laughs> every time I hold this in my hands, I'm like, oh my God, I can feel her essence. I was going to get this tattooed on my arm a long time ago. Pretty, right? Or at least, oh, and I found out that she's also um, Anana and she's also connected to Ishtar. And Anana is an Anunnaki goddess so i thought that was pretty awesome so that means what would be lilith so uh anyway let's talk about chakras i'm not gonna just be rambling um energy and attitude like i you know made the mistakes a couple mistakes when i was doing magic it does work um but i didn't learn how to surrender back then i didn't learn i kept forcing the magic and the magic would come but it would come off a little like it would deliver, but it would come off a little crooked. And, you know, it would come as an answer. But then, you know, I would get the job or something. And then something would be off at the job. It would be corrupt people or something like that. And it's like, yeah, I was making money though. Right? But that's not how you... Like, prayers and spells, I believe, are a little bit different. You know, they say prayers and spells are the same thing just over a candle. Yes, true. But also kind of not so true. Because you're, you're doing a prayer you're asking a deity you're asking god goddess source spirit the universe to do that part for you um but when you're doing the spell it's like you're you're putting a little bit more effort into it you're doing the prayer for yourself pretty much i think um it's like you're doing it you're doing you're doing the you're you're the you're the magician okay like you're, you're asking someone else to be the magician for you if you feel that that is better for you. Um, but I don't really think either one is wrong. Depending on how you do it. You know, there's light and dark and everything. Um, good and bad and everything, you know. Um, so, it's about like what I learned in my personal experience. It's about like changing the attitude. Like attitude. And this is why, you know, when I went through these oppositions... I realized what they were doing. I figured it out, you know. And, you know, I still am not in the control of every single thing in every single way. But I am the co-creator, you know. I can't control what's outside of me. But I can control how I am. And that's enough for me to do something as a magician. And, you know, but to always still have a humble heart. That's another thing. So, um... Don't I like you know there's all the answers, but you know, be the answer. If that makes sense. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, energy and attitude. 
That's what I had to learn in this situation. And it's like when you do magic, you focus on your intent and your energy, on your desired goal. Obviously, in order to do this, you must be able to concentrate and focus because the quality of your energy can affect your magic. You want your energy to be as clear and strong as it can be and your attitude towards your goal, your magic, and yourself. And it will affect your energy and the outcome of your magic. So, okay. And then there's like seven. Oh, I did Reiki. I'm a Reiki healer. You know, I just don't do so much on here. I usually, I studied Reiki. I got my Reiki certificate. But, you know, the universe keeps telling me like Michelle or Lilith. <laughs> do the fucking Reiki on your channel. I mean, I should. I'm just nervous because I haven't gotten a, a, in tuned yet a little bit. I need to get a little bit more attuned. But yeah, I'm going to, I really have to do that. Um, anyway, there's seven chakras, okay? So when you grow your life, for example, and you have gone through some sort of targeting or whatever, they are messing with your crown and your, your, your third eye chakra. Um, that's why they say they live vision because they live vision is your third eye. It's a part of your third eye, yo. That's your crown chakra. That's why a lot of people believe that the crown chakra is connected to the corona because the corona also means the crown, you know? So, yeah. So I said, if they're messing with my third eye and my crown chakra, then... That means what else, what, what, what other chakra is imbalanced? So there's seven chakras, uh, the seven chakras are energy centers in the body that lie along the spine. Each chakra picks and ends out in a specific type of energy. Imagine them as wheels of spinning energy. Imagine them as wheels of spinning energy. The root chakra or base chakra located at the at, of the spine near the tailbone is all about survival and our basic physical needs for food, sleep, and shelter. The second chakra, uh, the sacral chakra or spleen chakra, that's my makeup thing, um, is near the tail, oh, is, is just below the navel and the center of sexuality, sensuality, and emotions. So that is the sacral chakra. Okay. And uh, the third chakra located at the solar plexus chakra is seated of the, is seated, it's the seat of the will. The energy of the third chakra, third chakra helps you make decisions be responsible and creative and carry out your plans. The fourth chakra, the heart chakra. The fourth is the heart chakra. So that concerns itself with giving and receiving. Yes, that is so true. Because I did a heart chakra spell today. Actually, I might do some of my spells on YouTube and see if they work for you guys. I don't know. Anyway, my brother's here, so I don't know what's going on over there. I'm trying to give him some space, but I really wanted to do my channel today. So anyway, um, did I do the fourth chakra? Okay, the fifth chakra in the third chakra deals with our energies of communication. Um, both, the, both in the mundane world and on the spiritual plane so the throat chakra oh my god that would be great for telepathy then right if it dwells in both realms i've been really this has been really heavy then in my life i need to balance that um the sixth chakra located in the middle of the forehead um just above the eyebrows it, it, where the third eye is, the organ of spiritual perception is located, is the seat of psychic visions and clairvoyance. So that is where if you are a light worker or, you know, going through any sort of 
targeting because of that. Um, or whatever it may be. That is where they are attacking your chakras. Um, the seventh chakra is the crown chakra and is at the top of the head. The last chakra is our spiritual door. Our connection to spiritual wisdom and the all. So that is it on that, you know. Um, those are the chakras, and I've really just been trying to balance my chakras, but uh it's it's a practice, it's not the hardest, but um there's always energies around you, depending on what you're going through or what I'm going through, it's everyone's story is different, you know. So, but there's always going to be, like, um, polarities and stuff because of that. So, if you have any energy blockages in your chakras, they will negatively affect your magic by making it difficult for you to send or receive certain types of energy. You can work on your, you can work to open your chakras by meditating on the area of the chakra in your body. Um, color meditations can be particularly helpful in chakra work you can also use specific gemstones to open each chakra a blockage in a chakra usually usually has physical manifestations for example if you have chronic problems with receiving or giving love you may have a problem in your fourth or heart chakra um, yeah, so that is it on uh, that, you know, that's why I didn't realize that I was having problems with my own work, my own shadow work with my own, with this, especially with spiritual war. Um, they are definitely attacking your chakras, definitely. Um, and especially with doing shadow work, these entities don't like that. The inorganic ones, if you want to call it that. And sometimes it's not just the inorganic ones. It could just be human beings. Um, they hate it when you find that out. And they, you know, I'm pretty sure they know about magic. They know about the occult. They know about all that stuff. You know, because they're probably doing it too. But they're just doing it for negative reasons. Um, because remember, there is negative and there's positive magic. But, or let me rephrase that light and dark magic right because in that community they don't say necessarily say negative or positive um but you know what i mean uh yeah that is it on that one um yeah my channel like i said on my last one if you are new to my channel this channel is a spiritual channel if you like people like conjure queen or enoch or uh just any witchy people, you know, if you're a witchy person like me, um, a shamanist, a healer, a, a self-wounded healer, a black sheep, um, someone who doesn't feel like they fit in in this world, a chosen one, <laughs> you know, you probably would be interested in some of the stuff I talk about. And, um, you know, I'm a little artsy too and creative. I'm a poet. I'm a music writer. So sometimes I put my little creative spin on here, but everything that I do on here is very connected to the spiritual community because art is also a part of the spirit realm. So that's why it's just easy for me to just put my music on this channel as well because that's coming from higher dimensions. That's coming from the spirit realm as well. So that's why, you know, I put music sometimes and... I just put my spiritual videos or my tarot videos. Um, yeah, uh, sometimes I do celebrity celebrity readings on here because um, I am a necromancer, you know. Um, I love contacting the other side and I don't just do every celebrity. So it's not like I'm just doing it for the, for the clout, as they call it. I do that because I actually see something in these people. Um, that um, draw me in, you know, like it could be like Chris Cornell, which I really want to do, or like Kurt Cobain, or you know, it it depends. It does does I can't even speak. It doesn't have to be um, a particular person in that f 
field or genre if they just draw me in. You know, I've done Tupac, I've done Nitsy Hustle because they were talking about some pretty great things in my opinion. You know, Nipsey was about Dr. Savy and Tupac. He was always talking about, you know, his third eye being open in some of his songs, but he didn't really say, oh, my third is, my third eye is open. Um, he had They Live Vision, I think. So anyway, um, blessed be. And um, just please subscribe. <laughs>